In this video, I'm going to give you one of the most effective ways to basically beat really any defense, uh, but really this is actually a really good uh, setup for beating the dollar uh, 3-2 meta, and uh, we're going to show you it in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. You can get all my ebooks by being a Patreon member. $10 will get you access to everything, so make sure you sign up at the link in the description. All right, guys, so we're in the New England Patriots playbook. Um, you can do this out of really any play. Uh, I like to do this. My recommendation would be to run this out of a play-action play, um, but if you don't have tight end apprentice or outside apprentice, then you can use the play Pat's Y in. You saw that I set that in my audibles. So uh, this is just a simple play that I like to go to to uh, just simply work over uh, man to man. And also it's really actually pretty good against zone um, as well. All right, so uh, the setup here is really simple. What we're gonna do is essentially this is gonna be a shallow crossing setup. So what I like to do is uh, slant the inside slot receiver we're going to flat the outside uh, slot receiver the middle trips receiver we're going to crosser the tight end and that's pretty much it um, you can if you want to put a post on the back side so it looks something like this and it's really simple route combos and really simple reads the main route on this play is the tight end crosser now the tight end crosser is one of the better routes in the game uh, for getting separation against man-to-man. -man. It just is. Um, I don't know why it is, um, but it just is. Now, you can kind of do some things a little differently if you wanted to. So, another thing you could do is drag the circle receiver. Now, this drag this year is actually pretty underrated. I think that drags are one of the more underrated routes this year against man. So, as you saw right there, the drag actually did a really good job um, of getting separation. Another thing that you can do with this play to still kind of get at the same level, the same concept, is motion over this in route that Renfro is on. So you see what we've created now is kind of just another layer behind this shallow cross route. So you got your drag, not there, but I've got my crosser, and then I will have my backside dig. Now my backside dig on this play um, is really, really powerful. So let's say, let me just illustrate. So let's say that this guy is going to go with um, the tight end. This is the guy using, uh, you know, the tight end or whatever. So they're going to run and chase the crosser with their user. Um, then what happens is you should be able to either hit this drag or you should be able to hit this backside dig uh, coming open. So you see, oh, they go with the tight end crosser. But if you look here, this this in route uh, to Renfro is actually pretty decent. Now, uh, the the route to Renfro, if you have a slot apprentice, you can put him on a post. Another thing you can do is you can just put him on a smart route and in route yourself. So you see, it looks kind of like this. This right here is something real simple, I know, but it's really good this year. Uh, this concept, these simple simple ways to beat uh, the meta. As you can see right there, the in, in route will, will do better. Now, again, in ultimate team, you're going to have a little better route running at this position, um, you know, than I have currently. So it should be a little bit better for you. Now, how does this play do against a, uh, a zone coverage call? Well, you're going to have basically a high low on the right, and you're going to have um, the street clearing out the zones for the crosser on the opposite side. So you can throw that crosser kind of in this little area right here. Obviously, Derek Carr doesn't have uh, guns or um, set feet lead. This is one of those plays where if you have set feet lead, it's a little bit better uh, than if you don't. You don't need set feet lead for every throw, um, but you certainly notice it on this play. This route to, to uh, Waller. It's a lot easier to fit in um, if you do have it. You can wait till he gets all the way over here, as you see. Um, really nice little play. And then the other thing that we can do, so one of the common adjustments you'll see is something to this extent, where they'll do something like this, okay? And then maybe maybe they drop this guy in a purple, and then maybe they use her, um, they're going to use her this guy or whatever, okay? In that scenario... Um, you know, they started to run kind of more of an adjusted man-to-man. -man. That's where a play like this post becomes really powerful because if you have good route running on that post, you could sometimes 
I'm not the Adams didn't get open for me, uh, but you can sometimes hit that against man uh, when they third on the right. Now, uh, the other thing is if you wanted to send five out with this, my recommendation would be uh, to do it like with a wheel. Uh, so what you'll see with this wheel, again, based off of who's usering who, right? Typically speaking, this guy will be manned up and this guy's gonna have to be their user normally. Um, based off of what I've seen online because of their run D you can throw this quick wheel right there and it's one of the best quick throws in the game now obviously it's a read if there's somebody there don't throw the ball but having the ability to hit that quick read against the blitz uh, can be really advantageous and then you have something you know kind of like this now this wheel will also do a really good job if they run like a cover two and let's just say that you have enough time for this post to get up the field, you'll notice something interesting here when they splits the safeties against cover two. So, you know, if they're, if they're, if they're running any kind of cover two, this is a pretty good play for that as well. Uh, and then cover three, I'll show you that. So with cover three, again, it's kind of just like the cover four. You should be able to either hit your tight end crosser. You could probably hit your running back quick to the flat or you can hit your drag because your running back will kind of clear out the zones on that sideline as you see so this play comes with a lot of options to be able to beat man and zone it's also really good against the blitz because you have a couple quick throws you could throw the running back if they use her the running back let me show you something interesting so let's just to illustrate again i'm just going to illustrate they're going to blitz you and don't worry about who's blitzing but this is kind of a, a heavy blitz, if you will. So they're, they're going to run at the running back because that's who they're guarding. So they run at the running back. Look at, look at, you see the tight end standing wide open. Now, obviously cars release, um, not ideal, but you can still, and I'll show it again, you can hit this pretty quick. So if they hit you with a, with a man pressure, all out man blitz, you've got these quick reads within the play. So if they go to the running back, which they probably will, then I can throw, well, I'm getting screamed out of the A-gap, that's crazy. Um, I can throw the, I can throw the tight end, okay? Um, so that's the idea here. Let me show it one more time. This time I might actually run a little pass protection to help me kind of get, get just a little bit longer to throw. You can also max protect this play. So. You know, you could do something like this. You just max protect it. Motion block this guy. Boom. And then now you see the tight end still is going to cook um, against the main coverage. So you see the tight end's running wide open on the field. Um, and then you have other, other options. So you can run it as a max protect. It's a very versatile setup. The main two routes on the play are the drag crosser. You could slant post um, if you wanted to. I really think the crosser is just better against man. And man is obviously the meta, so we want to be able to beat that. And then you have that backside dig coming. So one of my favorite plays right now on a trip side in. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link is down below. $10 will get you access to everything over there at the Patreon page.